So we're just going to twirl. Yeah. Okay, Pipes. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Daisy. Uh, thanks for stopping by. So today I have another styling video for y'all. Um, we're going to be styling the beautiful bookshelves flanking my TV console. And uh, I'm really excited to share this one with you. So let's get into it. These are the first items that I want to add to this shelf. I got both of these at Home Goods. I love these because they had that very similar color scheme that's in my rug. So I wanted to draw these colors off my floors up to the walls on the shelves back here. I want to create symmetry, so I'm adding one on either side of these shelves. I really love to style with books at all times whenever I can. This was probably one of my favorite books that I purchased. Let me know if y'all know Young House Love. I've been following them since, I gosh, I can't remember. One thing that I'm a fan of is taking and swapping turns with whether you want to show the binds or not. Uh, I chose to just expose the pages on the shelf because the colors of the books were a little too loud for the color scheme that I want to go with. I want to create the exact same effect over to this side. Beside those books, I'm going to add these really heavy marble bookends. You don't need an actual bookend, guys. Just kind of grab another object, something heavy and sturdy enough to hold the books in place and keep them from falling because that's really all bookends do. You don't need to buy a book and item. Create one of your own. Because I started with a larger item closest to the TV, I want to start with a larger item closest to the wall. And that's how we're creating another kind of balance effect. Don't be afraid to mix metals. It creates a lot more interest than if you just like match all of the metals to each other. Create interest, create some more balance, mix those metals. Okay, on this side, I'm going to add probably my absolute favorite item of this vignette. I want to continue symmetry, but I don't have another globe. So, in lieu of a globe, I have this gorgeous jockey hat that I picked up at a thrift store for, I think, $3.99. I got super lucky. I'm going to be placing it on top of my candlestick and using it as a display. Just like I did on this shelf up here, I'm going to expose the pages. Above that, I'm going to place a picture frame. You saw my console styling videos. This rhino keeps jumping everywhere, but it finally found a home on this shelf. I have these very similar size books that I'm going to be placing over there. I'm going to be adding this little yellow book um, by Auden, I believe. It's Every Man's Library Pocket Poets. Kind of cool. Instead of exposing the pages on this one, I want to expose the bind. This is my second favorite item that I'm adding to the bookshelves. I don't drink whiskey, I don't drink bourbon, but I love this bottle. I believe horses are one of the most beautiful creatures on earth. I kind of have them scattered throughout my entire house. And another feature that I really appreciate on this Blanton's Bourbon Whiskey bottle is the handwritten detail on the actual label. And I like it because it reminds me of a conversation I had with a friend while we were sitting at a bar, having a couple of beers. This specific bottle stood out to me at the bar. Um, months later, I went to the thrift store and I found it and this will forever be tied to that memory. Love it! And I'm just going to place it on these books right here. So these are another thrift store find. It's a set of these brass bells. Oh, they're absolutely gorgeous. And I'm just placing this just to add a little bit more interest. I love incorporating storage anytime and anywhere that I can. So I'm going to be placing these on the shelf over here. I want to incorporate another grounding element on this end with a couple of vintage books. Above that, I'm adding my yoga girl. I love her, I love her pose. She gives me all good vibes. And I wanna look at her or see her in my peripheral when I'm watching TV. So she's going right on top of these books. This small picture frame continues the color scheme and also brings in some of the curvature displayed on the other shelves. Over here, I'm bringing in some of the brass tones with this little bell. I have these two matching baskets. One of them is housing my kids' toys. Oh. 
X-Men anybody? This basket is just being used to store some blankets and pillows for movie night. I'm gonna bring everything up to the top because that's just the way we do things here. Um, I'm gonna start off with some greenery. I have three items that I want to mix in together. First, I have this white pot right here. It's got these beautiful textures on it, which I absolutely love. And it's actually lined with this copper color. And this is just some Ikea greenery that I picked up for a few dollars. I don't know what it was about this basket that tied me or pulled me to it, um, but I loved the combination of putting this planter inside this basket and creating a moment here. I love it for whatever reason, it just, it speaks to me. <laughs> and I'm going to be placing this on this shelf right up here. So I want to create consistency with the color scheme, right? So I have this really beautiful drum I also picked up. I'm going to be placing this drum on the opposite end, similar side. I want to add some more greenery to this shelf over here. So I'm gonna be combining two different items. The first one is this faux greenery. So I'm just gonna place this greenery in this little pot here. I need to add more height to this end and this drum is perfect for that. And I have this really cool hourglass that'll bring in some of those dark tones. And also, because vignettes look so much better when they're in groups of threes, I'm just going to add this sweet little statue. I really love the way that everything looks so far, but I can't help but to find ways to add lighting to everything. So I'm going to add these miniature lamps with these beautiful shades just to add a little bit more lighting. And there you have it, those are my bookshelves. I really hope that y'all enjoyed today's video or took from it a couple of tips or a guide on how to style a bookshelf. Uh, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up I love to have you join my family, so consider subscribing. Um, and also, don't forget to ring that notification bell so that y'all can be notified when I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching today, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!